Nathan Rich is missing and all the Wu Mao in the comment section of his videos are even wondering also. I would like to talk about of course how he has gone silent on the internet. There are a few things here that we should be looking at and that is the fact that his main website is actually down. His hot pot website is down. Something like this only cost about $10 a month. They're very easy to put up and maintain, but understand that this is his livelihood. This is his name. Uh, this is his income. So Nathan wouldn't let this go down unless there was a serious issue, unless he was, you know, in a, a Chinese detention, unless he was severely sick or dying or, or, or something like that. He would not let this website go down. The other thing, of course, is you can see here on YouTube about his latest video, the time that it was actually put up. He hasn't commented, made another video, and uh, even his Weibo account has gone quiet. And anyone that uh, knows Nathan, sees Nathan on the internet, knows that this is just not like him. Nathan would not leave without an announcement. He would not uh, just disappear and go somewhere and not tell you if he had another project or something, Nathan Rich would tell you, okay? So something very strange is going on. Perhaps the, the Chinese government has disappeared him. They have come to his home and asked him out for tea. The next thing to talk about is the simple fact that his plastic Barbie doll girlfriend is also missing. Uh, you can actually go over and look at her Instagram page. And if you look on her Instagram page, uh, there's a few things that are kind of interesting, and that is the fact that she also quit updating her Instagram about the same time. And one of the things that you'll notice is that Nathan actually travels outside of the country, and of course she goes with him, and that they do this every so often. Of course, this is probably because Nathan Rich is on a tourist visa. Us Americans, you know, we get a 10-year visa in China, and we have to leave every three months. So this would lead me to believe that they leave and he renews his visa and of course she uploads videos and pictures and things on her Instagram of what they're doing in other countries. Again, that leads me to believe that because her Instagram is also silent and nothing is going on, that something has happened to Nathan and his girlfriend of course. Uh, of course, I'm going to assume that he is in custody, uh, perhaps he's in detention as they call it, or as us Americans call it, jail, okay? I don't know why they try to call it detention, make it sound as if it's not so bad. And the other question is, would Nathan admit it even if he went to jail? Probably not. But that being said, as many of you probably already know, Nathan Rich is of course a convicted felon here in the United States which basically means that um, he would only be able to work at Pizza Hut, but that's neither here nor there. Actually, a convicted felon from America is not allowed to enter China. What the hell's going on around here? Streets closed, pizza boy. Find another way home. Nathan, of course, is, of course if I can speak English, has been in China for a long time. And when you actually fill out the application for a tourist visa or a long time ago, a business visa to go to China, they of course would ask if you are a convicted felon and you would say no. So unless you are on a student visa or a work visa, they have no way to tell if you are a criminal. They don't do background check or require a background check. But of course, perhaps the CCP has realized that they have made a mistake by allowing someone with their state news media to interview Nathan Rich. Of course, the Huawei CEO or whatever was at an event with Nathan Rich and uh, Nathan was actually allowed to ask him a question or, or something like that. And I'm going to assume that Nathan thought that he was safe because of his pro-China propaganda, his shilling, and that is just not true. Uh, of course, uh, for those that don't know, there was recently a major article that came out uh, on the Chinese internet and, of course, the Western internet, um, you know, and they were pointing out the fact that he was living in China, that he was a convicted felon, that he had multiple charges uh, for drug dealing, something that is very, very serious in China. And uh, again, I think 
that the overall understanding here is that people think that they're safe in China and you are not. We all know that the Western media will tell negative stories about China. Countries and international organizations don't praise China. They pander to the increasing global influence. Chinese media doesn't report news. It reports propaganda. This is the biggest one. China doesn't treat patients. It rounds them up. Uh, China doesn't enforce quarantines. It enforces lockdowns. Yes, I've heard that a number of times. Chinese people are not patriotic. They're brainwashed. These words that they use to manipulate the, the news in the Western world. But they're not just manipulating the news. They're manipulating you and me. Dying. No matter what you think, you are not safe in China. Whether you're a Chinese or a foreigner or whatever it may be, if you are giving an opinion, even if it is partially agreeable with them, it does not mean you are safe. And it is especially dangerous for someone like Nathan Rich, who is quite honestly the largest pro-CCP propaganda person on YouTube. Of course, people like Sexpat60 or Guelo60, whatever you want to call him, of course, has been silenced. I made a video about that before, and where he took down his videos talking trash about China, I put them back up on my channel. You're more than welcome to go see those. Um, I think that, of course, he is missing. They've asked him out for tea. He is probably in detention pending deportation. Uh, I assume they will background check him and uh, he will be deported. Um, if you know where Nathan Rich is, of course, type in the comments. As much as uh, I dislike him, I don't uh, wish any, any harm to him or, or anything like that. Uh, I, I don't wish for him to be hurt or, or, or whatever, right? I don't, I don't wish bad things on him, necessarily per se. Um, so if you know where Nathan Rich is, of course, post in the comments and uh, hopefully he is okay even though he's a horrible shill and um yeah but either way like comment subscribe help find nathan rich and have a good day